Hi guys, Scott from the Runner's Flat. Hey, thanks for joining us. This is the Nike React Miler. For $130, what we found was a shoe that was super comparable to the structure, but totally different. So this is a review for you. This is mine and I'm just now getting ready to retire these. You can see on the bottom that the tread looks pretty good. All I found is that after my runs, I'm starting to get a little more beat up, meaning that that midsole is probably compressed and I'm not really getting a lot of uh, forgiveness on my long runs any more like I did when I first got them. But this is definitely a three to 500 mile shoe, just like many of the shoes that they offer. Look at how they did the midsole. All of a sudden to me, this is a Nike that's starting to give you that kind of max cush feel of like a Hoka, but still in a Nike quick filling shoe. Rocked front end here. Again, they always do a good job of locking you down in the cockpit of the shoe. And so there's a nice heel collar in here. It's not real, real wide. So it is nice and snug on my heel, but a little open toe box. The other thing I really liked about this was they still gave you some support, but this little stability wedge is right in the middle. It's still a soft piece of material. It's just not as soft as the rest of the midsole. So because you have that difference in midsole densities, it does help you find some support in that medial side of the shoe instead of letting you collapse. I will say that I feel like I still collapse through this a little bit, but because there's so much cushion and because there is some stability in the shoe, I chained in it and I stayed healthy. And usually if a shoe doesn't have enough stability to tell someone it's a moderate stability shoe, I'll feel it and I'll be able to tell you that. So that was really good. Laces stay lace they say tied without coming untied even if you don't double time but i double time anyway because i don't want to have to stop and retie them if they do come undone but i did test it a little bit i even went out i've been i've been on roads on these i've been on gravel i've been on trails single track trails and i've also snowshooting these one day i did like a two hour snowshoe in these without double tying them and they stayed tied so that was a nice thing out there in the cold the other thing i'll tell you is they work really well and what nike does a good job with this outsole is they make it grippy enough there's enough stickiness to that outsole sometimes if you get an outsole that's really durable it's also kind of slick out there and doesn't really give you some grip this has a nice soft feel to it so you get some grip out there but it didn't prematurely wear out at all still looks good on the underneath of the shoe high mileage moderate stability i wouldn't tell someone that really cranks through a shoe that this is the shoe form but if you're a moderate stability person you've been healthy in other shoes I would check out the Nike React Miler. This is the first version we've had. They'll continue to update it, but really pleased with the first version. A lightweight shoe, it feels fast, but I could do my 20 mile long runs in it and stay healthy in that as well. So